Over the past few years, Marvel has definitely seen a uh, dip in quality. And it's thanks to blatant corporate greed and a distinct lack in creativity that Marvel's in the state that it is. The stories of heroes and villains we used to love so much have turned into repetitive formulaic garbage pumped out for profit instead of enjoyment. Overarching plots with fan favorite characters are gone, and the creativity we used to love is dead. It's just a mess of sequels and established characters trying to fill the shoes of fan favorites long gone. The multiverse was cool the first time we saw it, but after about 20 multiverse-centered movies, it really gets a little tiring. And I don't think it's a stretch to say it's genuinely been years since I and many others have been excited to finally watch a Marvel movie. Genuinely, Marvel movies have never been in a worse state. Gone are the days of my favorite characters and their compelling, albeit sometimes simple stories. Gone are the days of my favorite heroes overcoming villains grounded in some sort of reality. I grew up with the Marvel movies, and it pains me that I'll never sit with my friends again talking and theorizing about past and present releases. Marvel's been essentially dead, and unfortunately an actual return seemed pretty impossible. That is, until Deadpool and the Wolverine was announced. A movie with established characters that actually told an original story? Jokes that hadn't been the same repetitive garbage spewed for the last 10 years? Two of the world's sexiest men alive? It was perfect. I immediately bought my ticket and made my way to the theater, and as soon as I saw the opening sequence, I knew I was in for something special. Now, admittedly, nobody went into this movie expecting a narrative masterpiece. After all, it's a Deadpool movie, not a Nolan movie, and it is by no means this incredible story. However, it is fun very fun, which is more than I can say for like 90% of Marvel movies that have come out in the past 5 years. Right from the opening scene, Deadpool 3 is oozing with fun and style. The movie opens with a choreographed fight slash dance scene with NSYNC's classic playing in the background and honestly, I couldn't think of a better opening. Using Logan's skeleton in the first fight was perfect, and this sort of on-the-nose but creative humor is honestly refreshing. The premise of the movie is simple. The world's at stake, everyone he loves is gonna die, blah 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 blah, it's mainly pretty boring multiverse stuff. And normally this wouldn't really work. At least not for me. But the characters and cameos they bring are phenomenal, and for some reason, it just really works. Seeing Chris Evans in a foreshadowed Captain America return was pretty cool and Deadpool building him up as this great old-fashioned staple of the Marvel franchise just for him to turn into the Human Torch was one of my favorite parts in the movie. And then of course, there was the end credits scene, but mainly, I just enjoyed the movie. I don't want to turn this into a nostalgia bait talking about the serious decline of the MCU, but it's kind of hard given that's literally what the movie is about. The whole point of the movie is to save the multiverse, which in of itself is a parody on the fact that every Marvel movie is about the multiverse, and this of course is done with the help of Wolverine. Hugh Jackman is phenomenal in this movie. He adds a certain emotional layer I really didn't expect that almost made me care about the story, and all of the fight scenes between him and Deadpool were really well done. Actually, all of the fight scenes in this movie are done well. Usually Marvel is pretty lazy with their fight scenes, and they're almost all unanimously bad, and at the very best, watchable. There's only a few I can really even remember. In Deadpool and the Wolverine, I thought they were all pretty entertaining. The first couple fights between the two were funny and well done, and that final act when Hugh Jackman stepped out of the Honda Odyssey, a car my mom's driven for almost my entire life, you best believe I was fucking with the Honda Odyssey. But the main thing that sets this movie apart from other Marvel movies, the main reason I'm even making this video is because you can tell Deadpool and the Wolverine was made with passion. It's not the most unique or amazing story ever told, but damn it was made with passion. And the fact that this is Marvel's first official R-rated film just proves the passion behind it. Ryan Reynolds fought his ass off to keep Deadpool alive, and for all of his very, very, very warranted criticisms, you can't deny the passion he has for the character. He's been playing him for damn near 20 years, and nobody can deny he actually cares for the character, which is such a breath of fresh air. When so many Marvel movies today are clearly just churned out to make as much money as possible, it's just nice to see a big blockbuster with a little passion behind it. Hell, it doesn't even have to be Marvel. The entire state of Hollywood relies on sequels, prequels, and remakes that people just never really even asked for. You can clearly tell that, even with its many flaws, Ryan Reynolds just wanted to make a fun movie, and I think on that front, he succeeded. And given its incredible box office, I don't think it's a stretch to say that most people were pretty happy to finally watch a Marvel movie with a little bit of passion. All the comic references, the pretty surprising attention to detail, and especially that Fox tribute during the credits, you can form whatever opinion you want on the quality of the movie. I myself am somewhere in the middle. 
but damn you can't deny the passion behind it. I never would have thought I'd sit down for a Marvel movie in 2024 and see Wesley Snipe as Blade again. I never would have thought I'd finally see Gambit, my dad's absolute favorite Marvel character, finally make the big screen. Of course, Deadpool 3 has a lot of that formulaic Marvel we've all grown intolerant of, but at the very least, it has passion, which is something I can't say about most Marvel movies or even most movies. Hopefully, with Deadpool and the Wolverine's pretty incredible success, we might finally see a change in the MCU. Then again, probably not. But at the very least, Deadpool 3 proves a movie built on passion and creativity still has its place in the grey, ever-turning cog that is the entertainment industry. And for that, I can't help but feel that Deadpool and the Wolverine really prove something. You don't need giant space laser battles to entertain an audience, and you don't need some incredible endgame type blockbuster to find success. You just need a little creativity with a hint of passion. Because at the end of the day, a movie should be fun, and Deadpool and Wolverine is just that. Thank you for watching.